want to talk to you uh, about the two primary methods that we use in contemporary hair transplantation. Uh, the, both procedures are uh, office-based, outpatient procedures that are performed under mild oral sedation or IV sedation plus local anesthesia. And both procedures are really very minimally invasive procedures. One procedure is called follicular unit extraction. And that's one of the newer methods. About eight to nine years it's been under development, but it's become a well-established and uh, uh, frequently practiced technique. And in that technique, very tiny little mi micro punches are used to harvest single follicles from the donor area. The donor area is the area that we use that has follicles that we can transplant that will continue to produce living hair. These tiny little puncture marks are very superficial and they heal very quickly and leave very little if any trace in the donor area that, that a small skin graft was taken. The other technique that is used is follicular unit transplantation. And in that procedure, the surgeon uh, identifies, anesthetizes, and takes a narrow strip of donor scalp. The edges of uh, the area that's removed are sutured together in very highly evolved uh, techniques uh, so that typically uh, those areas will heal with a very, very fine scar uh, that has hair even growing into it intermittently, so that also heals exceptionally well. In that procedure, the uh, tissue is taken to microscopes where uh, a series of steps are taken in uh, dissection to be able to create this, the tiny little skin grafts uh, that are essentially the same as those that are produced in the follicular unit extraction procedure. If we want to contrast those two procedures in terms of uh, advantages and disadvantages, the follicular unit extraction procedure uh, is really very minimally invasive and typically is associated with none or very little discomfort in the post-operative period. With the follicular unit uh, transplant, there are sutures and so there's a little bit more discomfort, but even then we really have to say that for most patients that discomfort is mild to moderate. Uh, with the follicular unit extraction, there are tiny, tiny little areas uh, where the, the hair follicle has been removed that if you shave the head down, it's very, very difficult to see those even with the head shaved. With the follicular unit transplant procedure, there is a very, very fine linear scar. And if the head is totally shaved down, that may be slightly visible. Now for the vast majority of people who want a hair transplant, they're not going to be shaving their head, and so that really is not a significant concern. When you go for consultation and meet with the doctor, uh, expect to have a detailed conversation about both of these techniques, their advantages and disadvantages, and how uh, each particular uh, technique would best be applied in your unique situation. There are really a number of reasons why we technically as surgeons would advise one procedure over the other uh, and uh, when we do a consultation we'll go through all of those things with each patient so that we can help the patient be able to choose the best procedure.